Hello, my name is Weston Ganger and today I'm going to be showing you how to mount an image file on Linux. This could be a CD-ROM image such as a .iso file, .image, or .bin, which are common ones, or it could be an image file of a Windows partition or a Linux partition. Basically, by mounting this to our, to our Linux machine, we're tricking the computer into thinking that we actually have this CD inside our computer, or we actually have a certain hard drive inside our computer. So first things first, we're going to open up the terminal and we're going to use the command sudo make dir and we're going to make a make a directory inside the slash media folder. Now I'm going to call my folder disk. This is the label that's going to appear on your as your image file is mounted. So um, you could call it anything a little more specific if you wanted. For example, it could be your Windows partition, or you could call it, uh, in this case, Ubuntu disk. But I'm just going to be generic and call it disk. So just ask for the password. All right, so now we're ready to mount our image to that folder. So we're going to use the command sudo mount. And first, we are going to point to where our image file is located so in which case mine's in the home directory in the downloads folder and it's called ubuntu.iso in space and then next you're going to point to where you want the image file mounted in which case it's going to be the folder we just created in, in media so media slash disk next you're going to use the option dash t and you have to define the file system type so for a dot iso file the file system type is ISO 9660. For example, if it was a Windows partition, it would be dash T space F, NTFS. Or for a Linux partition, it would be uh, dash T space EXT3 or EXT4. Those are just some generic examples. Next, we're going to do the dash O option and the loop for that, which basically allows us to mount the image as the computer thinks it's a part of our computer. Now, you get an error that uh, the disk seems to be mounted as read only. This is because uh, the ISO. Um, file system is read only. For example, if you had mounted a Windows partition or a Linux partition, you could probably edit it. But because ISO 9660 is read only format, you is not possible to write to it. All right, so now we're going to go back to our explorer here, and as you can see, we have a disk inserted called disk. Right? It would be whatever you had made that folder. I'm going to go to it. As you can see, we can see all the files that are in my image file. So now we have it mounted. Now to unmount this image, you can either click the eject button here, or you can do it through terminal by using the command sudo umount, and then you just point to where your, your image is mounted. So media disk. And there you go. Now it's ejected. Thank you for watching my tutorial on how to mount an image in Linux. And have a good day.